Good morning, Internet. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Tiger Moth flight. Today, uh, uh, well, I actually haven't looked around here at the moment, but uh, it may actually be just me. At least I haven't seen anybody else here, or I've got my name tags off. But I'm going to be taking the Tiger Moth from uh, Mildura down to uh, South Australia, where the Murray River runs out. So I'm just going to do a... Uh, Sunday morning flight here for me. Anybody else is welcome to uh, come along. I am on West USA. We did East USA one time. And I'd like to say, Egress Crab, mate, morning. He was the first one in. Michael's here. Good morning, Brett. Plays on this Sunday morning from Michael in Canberra. G'day, Michael, mate. Hopefully you got your cup of tea and a, and a uh, biggie that you're allowed and sitting down and uh, taking it easy. Uh, I am taking this Australian livery, so I've changed it each time. Icarus, mate, I'm here on West and I see Nada. Yeah, I can't see anybody either. So, um, yeah, you're sober. <laughs> um, are you on an active runway? Yeah, see, I can't see anybody. It's almost as if live traffic is, oh, sorry, multiplayer traffic is off so um phil mate evening hey phil i meant to mention to you if you're on discord come and um ping me on discord and i'll open up the members only area for you as well so that you can come in and uh chat and uh get access to uh some other stuff behind there and it's probably a good idea because you'll see um upcoming streams and stuff if you haven't already uh, I am also going to do members only streams. I've okay, I've just jumped to East USA, Icarus mate. You want to try East? We'll just uh, test. Driving trucks on American trucks in this morning. All right, Michael mate, you enjoy that. You know, let's just go full screen. Get a little camera down there. I say uh, Merry Christmas. Oh wait, one more thing, Michael mate. Where is it? There it is. Michael sent me a Christmas card. It's on display now. I'm here, don't see anyone. No, darn mate, I don't see anyone either. I don't think anybody sees anyone. Um, so I jumped over to East USA just to uh, test that. Hey, I got Icarus. Icarus is here now on East USA. All right, we're moving off West. West seems to be faulty. I got Icarus as soon as he came over to East as well, and he's he's parked in between the big... Oh, there we go. Danger Bird's here too. There you go. And he's in the W Flyer. Is that the, the new... Is it Wilga? No, not the Wilga. Uh, whatever that got friend one. There you are now, he says. Yeah. Now on East as well, zero traffic. No, I got you. Cool. We're good to go. All right. Let's just check that that music's not going to overwhelm us. All right, uh, today we're going to fly on uh, east. So I see a cockpit, do I? Wait, you're in the Wright Brothers flyer. Do you think, <laughs> do you really think my Tiger Moth flies that slow? I'll tell you what, you, you do that up to have the same speed as a Tiger Moth and that'll be awesome. You're just laying around there. That actually looks pretty awesome. Yeah, all right. We we need to get going. All right, so let's uh, let's jump in here. Uh, what is it? Forward? Yeah, there we go. I'll take those magnetos. Uh, back again. There we go. Cool. Uh, fuel is valve is forward. Mixture's good. Um, all right, so I've filled up full fuel. Can we actually get around the aircraft? So I need to hop out. Thank you. Around. All right, clear prop. All right, we're good. Hop back in. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> Sonic Boom. Yeah. Uh, will do shortly. Been in Christmas market, Stratford. 
on Avon all day. Just got back, warming up and chilling out for a bit. No, no, no. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, no, no rush to um to get that. Let me just know if that music's okay, because I think it's just this song's pretty loud. Alright, and we'll put our engine noise up a bit. We do need to close that door. Where is it? There, oh, there we go. Cool. Alright. Uh, let's lean over a little. Now, I'm on high clouds. I decided not to use live weather. I'm also trying something different. I've stopped using DirectX 12 Beta. Um, because I've been getting errors every time I go on to um, Flight Sim to stream to you guys. Uh, I seem to get lots of errors um, showing up on the, uh, the stream. And it would skip frames. So far, um, I'm not so sure it's getting the skip frames because I'm not getting the same error. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we're doing okay. So we'll, we'll test that. DirectX 11 instead of DirectX 12, but I've got everything else set. Uh, you know what? I need something a little bit slower than that, mate. Mr. Music. All right. What have we got for airports? Are we right smack in the middle? We are. Hmm. You reckon we could take off into that? That's enough airport, isn't it? Let's just do it. I don't remember that this actually requires a lot of runway. And yeah, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll go down here. We'll do a turn around just at the, uh, the large... Uh, landing markers there and take off back there. DH82, okay, Danger Bird has changed. Alright, so we're on East USA for today. West uh, seems to have lost all traffic for some reason. Nobody showed up. Nobody showed up for anybody. Alright. Uh, Sonic Boom, right flyer, just went over, danger, yes, awesome, isn't it? Oops, caps off. Ah, I knew what you were talking about. Alright, I'm going to swing it around, I'm going to get in the air. And then we'll pull out the GPS and work out where we're going. Really, to be honest, we just need to follow the, uh, river, but... Love this aircraft. All right, we can do a formation takeoff here. Danger bird's already in the air. All right, when you're ready, Mr. Icarus, shall we? Uh, whoop! There we go. That, that's the signal. All right, tail up. Thank you. Forty knots. Fifty knots. Danger birds actually parking it. What are you doing? It's like, oh, maybe I need more fuel. All right, and we're up. No, we're not. I guess we are. Yeah, we're good. My trim's a little out. Just to make sure we. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There. My trim was out. Okay. Always reset your trim. Oh, that's pretty loud. Alright, you guys let me know if that's uh, good. Okay, so can I have this fella? And let's actually work out which direction we should be going. No, actually, the direction we're taking off from. Cool. Now, where's our, where's our Murray River? There it is. No. Should be over there somewhere. We'll put our V F R map. Hey, there it is. It's a dark, squiggly one. Right, but we'll get up high enough to see it.
So how is everybody on this, uh, well for me, Sunday morning, maybe for you a Saturday evening. How's everybody going? And welcome to Seven Views, this early morning flight. Late evening. Do we still have a tail dragger? We do. I keep putting the wheel on there and it keeps changing. Oh, no, different plane, different uh, configuration, maybe. So I've taken A17, 692. I think it was actually an Australian uh, Tiger Moth. I mean, I don't really want to fly every zigzag of the um, Murray River, but I do want to be able to keep it in view. So I'm thinking we probably will get up to about 5,000, so 5,000 feet. Am I doing a climb of 58 knots and I'm doing 62? That's probably good. I have actually turned a little bit towards the uh, river. So Mildrew, very flat out here still. Going well, Brett, mate, first time in the moth and already uh, in love with it. Ah, oh, right, this is the first time you got the moth? Oh, Gowan, racetrack. Here's a dirt racetrack. Or two. Or three. Actually, there'll be a lot of horse racing here. Um, probably the buggy and horse from uh, memory. I think is a is big deal around here. Yeah, Type Moth's pretty good. Um, I mean, I had I didn't go and open up all the, uh, the doors and stuff, but you can actually take off well, actually, you can take off everything, including the propeller and the cone. And I think you can actually do service on the spark plugs. Um, you can do your oil change. So you can actually take the whole front cone of the uh, Tiger Moth off. Do all your little bits and pieces in there and then put it all back together. It does require you to uh, change oil. So the more you fly, the more oil you will use. You'll need to top that back up as well. You know what, we should actually be following this road here. Although I kind of want to keep a good view of that uh, Murray River. I imagine when they used the Murray for uh, transporting goods from this area, because that's what a lot of it was, um, it'd be a really long trip because it's not a straight river, it, it just winds incredibly back and forth, back and forth. But they could take a lot of stock and stuff just by floating it down on whatever boats and stuff. They had paddle steamers going up and down here too. Uh, more around the Achuca area, I think, is where they based it. But um, yeah, you can still go get there and, and see the old paddle steamers too. Just found the tablet uh, when you brought up yours. Yes. Uh, so I've got the GPS one, but I haven't didn't bother bringing the tablet up. Um, no, I'm going to put autopilot on. I'm going to put nav on. Is it nav or wing hold or something? I don't know. So let's go. Tablet. You can move the tablet to different places in the um, place as well. All of our heading hold, altitude hold. Got wing leveler on. <clears throat> so wing leveler actually moves you onto the flight plan. I haven't got altitude hold on because I'm climbing up to about five, uh, and I've got control so I can actually press that. And what we'll do is we'll take this off screen. We've got our little. Uh, map here. We have to zoom out to actually see the Murray. There it is there. And I seem to be turning really sharp. Why? Can we turn back the other way? Oh, because I'm going back onto the fly plane. There we go. And altitude. 
4,000. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm also... Oh, I am climbing. I was going to say I'm, I'm pushing it pretty hard. But I am climbing. Once I stop climbing, I will back it off just a fraction. Um, I think I'd like to turn here. Get back onto path. Michael, it is a very a nice sunny day in Canberra. It is, I have no idea because I've not the camera on. Um, I didn't see if it was sunny or cloudy. I was too busy uh, doing some stuff and talking with my wife about Christmas setup. We're hosting for family today. Uh, not today, um, this Christmas. Uh, I'm also going to turn that down. So if I hit that, turns on altitude hold. Yes, it does. But we will climb that to 5,000. There we go. Alright, I've got to put uh, heading hold on, don't I? Okay. And we should actually be heading... Wow, let's find out. What, what should we be heading? Uh, 262. There we go. All right, and then what I can do is I'll just go like this. Yeah, hop it back. All right. We are climbing, are we? Just ease back that throttle. No, we're not. What did I set that as? Don't mind me, I'm just uh, mucking around with an autopilot on. Vertical speed. Oh, there we go. You can actually click vertical speed up and climb it. That's awesome. Uh, now that I put that away, yeah, it does. Okay, cool. All right, let's have a look. Wow, it is dry out here. Still... I do not think that's meant to be a racetrack. I think there's a farmer making weird, weird circles and stuff uh, in the crop. I actually don't know what type of crop it is down here. Probably hay or I don't think this is wheat. Could be. Alright, we've got Icarus at 4300. We've got Danger Bird who's already climbing up through 46. And what am I? Almost 46. Yep, 4600 feet. Yeah, cool. Alright. <laughs> Not much to see. That's the Murray. Alright, good. We're nice and close to it. So. The reason I didn't want to zigzag down there is because I'd, I'd turn this into like a 10 flight uh, thing to try and follow the Murray, you know, tie them off. If we flew every single thing. Uh, it is a peaceful flight, really. And where's our first airport? Uh, Renmark. I have no idea what Renmark is. Like here, I've been to Mildura, but I haven't been to Renmark. Let's have a look. Where's my maps? Mildura. Renmark's actually in South Australia. Okay, let's work out what Renmark is. Renmark is a town in South Australia, rural river, rural riverland area. It's located 254 kilometres northeast of Adelaide, on the banks of the uh, River Murray. Sturt Highway between Adelaide and Sydney runs through the town. Oh, I have been there then. So I, uh, I came back from uh, South Australia on my motorbike. On the highway. Okay, cool. Renmark is the uh, last major town encountered in South Australia when driving this route. Okay. What else is it about?
31 uh, metres above sea level, that's 101 feet. Uh, has a population of about 4,600. Okay. Multicultural centre in Riverland uh, excels in fishing, water skiing, and boating. Uh, is known for grapes, citrus fruits, tomatoes, vegetables, wheat, and wool. Orange trees stretch for hectares, as do vineyards and stone fruit orchards. There you go. Other industries include almond growing and pistachio nut cultivation. Yeah, there you go. And it has a paddle steamer. Okay. Wine companies and the rose industry. Okay. There you go. So that's where we're heading first. Uh, and to be honest, we're probably not going to be too far from getting into South Australia already. Dang, it looks dry though. Alright, let's see where that border is. Right about when the uh, Murray River starts turning south again. to tell with maps. Oh, actually. It's almost as if one side is farmed and one is not. I if I can get on here. So it's almost as if the... Whoa! Brian, um, almost as if the uh, South Australian border, what's happened here? Oh, well, these are all changed. They're all out of order. All right, where's my plane? There it is there. Okay. You can't, <laughs> you can't see it now. It just blends in. Yes, Brett. Use the camo uh, livery. That'll do. All right, so. Wow. All right, that is Lake Victoria uh, on the. Um, right there in the center. So that's Lake Victoria. That's in Victoria side. Just past that will be our South Australian border. You can almost see a line there. Let's see if I can get the mouse on here. So you can almost see a line here where in Victoria they stopped doing anything and then on the other side or in uh, South Australia, it's fully farmed and cordoned off. That is actually the borderline, so it's very distinct. All right, how are we going, Icarus and Danger Bird? You got yourselves up to about, oh, that's not the button to press, 5,000 feet. I'm doing 80 knots. I'll back it off to 2100 RPM. And we can actually lean that out there you might want to press that button all right so zoom out here there's the lake that's where the uh, Murray River turns and starts going south just before it turns to go south is the borderline so we will actually leave a victoria for the first time on this flight on the series and make our way into uh, south australia cool there's not much to it is there Oh, up and down. Must be 
10 fucking birth. Okay. Oh, the 10 views on Sunday morning, Saturday evening for you, some of you guys. Welcome. Not 100% sure that the uh, DirectX 11 is necessarily improving the uh, system. And hang on, why are my name tags not lit up? Oh, I know why my name tags not lit up. I didn't put in my my mods again, did I? Oops. <clears throat> I put in everything else but not that. If I don't run this, it'll probably complain that uh, right, let's continue. Yeah, actually I forgot to put the uh, mods back in, which means Yeah, this thing keeps popping up every time I move the mouse. So I've got a mod that turns that off. Alright, well so be it. <clears throat> Type in the chat. Pause, have you? No, we're good. How is everybody going today? I know Icarus is doing alright. Everybody else is very quiet. And Michael's too busy uh, doing his trucking. <laughs> Here we go. Right, I should turn that off for a second. Looking out the back of the plane. What views do I have? Oh, we do have it up behind the view. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's a weird view. Oh, yeah. Top fuel tank view. And the other side. With no pilot. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Alright. Jumping around like that, I got a few um, stutters and I'm not on live. Oh, what? Am I not allowed to say? Two mops. I can't believe you just said that. You don't need a stretcher up there. You need a mop. Oh my god, that is loud. Welcome, Mr. Two Mops. Yeah, I don't have any of those uh, icon things on, and my program didn't open. My. Welcome, Two Mops, mate. Alright, so there's the Murray right there. We're about to go back. Uh, well, we're right next to it, really. I think if we were to zigzag that, it'd just take forever. Fine, thanks. Uh, just now have the tablet figured out uh, a little. Yeah, so you guys are probably sitting in here going, right, what else can you do with this? Um, one thing I have not done for this particular... Oops, wrong one. Okay, keep the arm in there, thanks. I haven't um, put the rear wheel on this one, but I do have a dirty windshield. You can actually clean it, but it looks more realistic like this. Uh, engine realism, mine's on easy. Thank you. Rolling resistance is normal. Front mouse zones are off, so if I'm sitting in the front seat, I, I can't accidentally press things. Um, RPMs the right way. Yeah, pilot door. So um, we can hide the pilot cover. No, pedo cover. Sorry. Um, 
Love your door close. Skid. There we go. Wheel. I wanted wheel. I had wheel before. There we go. I like the wheel on these uh, versions. Uh, windy airspeed gauge. Oh, I didn't put it on this particular model. Okay. So, windy airspeed gauge show. Yep, there we go. Oil tank straps, wheel covers. Outer are on. That basically means uh, this little cap there is on, but on the inside it's open. You can actually put a inner cover on by going like that. And then the inner cover is also covered. Um, I'll leave mine off for this one. Xenon mate, welcome. <laughs> Steve Allen mate, woohoo. I'm going to change that and put in uh, this sound in the future. <laughs> only because that's the only minions one I have now. Just lurking uh, today. Okay, fair enough. Um, we're a vintage air intake propeller. Uh, yep. Uh, left engine door. I'm keeping those closed. Click, click to quick start. I oh, know I turned that off. Um, magnetos are linked. I don't know what that means. I just went and got them from the front anyway. Uh, propeller pull, yeah, propeller pull back, yeah. And uh, some AP at 5,000 feet. Uh, in Discord and just uh, looking around, uh, yeah. So when you join my Discord, initially it'll say um, you can't chat for the first 10 minutes. I'm kind of trying to stop some bots coming in and um, what happens is they, they join and spam straight away the channel bots. Um, so there's a Murray. There we go. So that make a good picture. Uh, but yeah, up to 10 minutes you can actually uh, chat and stuff and I'll jump on there um, later. All right, I'm the so Princess of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Although I can't mate. officially back that up with paperwork. Can't officially back that up with paperwork. Um, so I'm running DirectX 11 today and I don't know if I see anything different with it. Um, it does look like the internet's behaving the same way now. I must be downloading more information. Seems to be downloading or or behaving like it did uh, when I was on DirectX 12. So I'm getting the occasional drop frame. So if you're getting a little bit of stuttering, I, I, yeah, I don't know how to stop it. And it only seems to be flight sim that does it. So I may change some other options as well. So go check out Mr. Gowan's YouTube. Oh, it says it twice. Oh. Must have it in both. Okay. Wanted to do this today, but had a busy day and late night yesterday. Xenon, mate, just sit back, have a cup of coffee, mate. Um, I'm also on East USA today, so if anybody else is going to come and join, we're on East USA because when we jumped into West USA at the beginning, nobody could see anybody. Uh, so Icarus was already on the airport, he couldn't see anybody. Dangerbird was on there, he couldn't see anybody. Uh, we changed over to East and we could instantly see each other. So, although I could see Icarus now, oh, there he is. Icarus's name tag is off. Oh, yeah, I can't turn off name tags. That's right. I don't have the mod on. That's cool. that's pretty close so I guess we kind of went over the Murray yeah 
there you go. Looking out the back. How far was it to... 17 nautical miles. It doesn't seem like a very long distance, but when you are doing 80 mile an hour, 70, 5. So it's going to take just under an hour to get there. Evil, good morning, Brett and all, says Evil. G'day. Welcome. Actually, I might try the other side. So that way we can kind of see the Murray. No pilot, because I've climbed out on the wind. Definitely will be with you tomorrow. Xenon, mate, I might have to... Um, ask you some questions and I'm happy to even have you in discord chat if you want to then you can uh, tell me some of the areas and significance and anything any information that I can't already find on wiki which is probably a whole heap um, or even say yes I've been down there welcome to 17 viewers thank you very much for those likes that you've already pressed for those who have uh, tell YouTube hey there's a, uh, there's a flight going on here. Go and check them out. I was hanging out on the wing. Let's actually climb back in. There we go. Why does Icarus's name not show up now? Alright, there. Just as I finished on saying that, it shows up. Alright, we're at 75 mile an hour, 75 knots, sorry. Everybody's saying good day. An evil rocking up has reminded me that I'm going to go and do some Christmas giveaways closer to Christmas. Uh, we'll do some streams and there will be some giveaways because, um, you know, we'll, we'll give some stuff away for, uh, for our Christmas stuff. I also want to do a long stream. I haven't worked out when yet. That might actually end up being in the new year. Finally do my commercial run. I also was thinking, the 747 doesn't get a lot of love. Hey, evil mate. Two months and still here. <laughs> two months and still here. That's right. Got your silver wings as well. Very nice. You're gonna pop up. What? You're gonna, you're gonna. There we go. Swing that lightsaber. Thank you very much. I, I gotta get the proper graphics for all these things. I'm still working on that. I'm gonna turn that one off, otherwise, it'll keep going every time. Uh, East USA today. Is that on, mate? East. Uh, ignore that. We, we always fly in West USA. We, we try it and um, none of us could see us, see each other. So we decided to jump on to our East USA and then we could actually start seeing other players ourselves, basically. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> the newbies. Yeah, you get a green circle with a lightsaber in it for uh, the green for the newbies so greenies and then it goes blue circle um, and then uh, what happens then you get silver wings and then it says blue and goes silver wings and then uh, you get gold wings and you'll notice that the lightsaber changes to things like Jedi Outcast or Jedi Outcast 2 and and 3. So you get three uh, lightsaber things. So it's, it, I'm basically incorporating some of the game stuff in my um, circle. And then you get gold wings and then you get magenta circle around there. And then eventually you'll get a um, uh, quite a shiny silver, blue, white, mash you can actually see it on discord under uh, member stuff 
and see all the different things you get. If I, I don't know, we'll have to do something for um, beyond two years. And I, I kind of almost want to get some um, key rings made for those who have made it that far. I have looked at some. I might end up doing that. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Let me know. It's a shame I don't have my mod on. Can I not get that program running? Not while it's here, I guess. Uh, the next ACAO code is YREN. Y, uh, so um, Yankee Romeo Echo November. And we are almost, almost there to be honest. We mustn't be too far away. I will land. So you can see this um, patch of dark land here. Uh, this is the border of Victoria and uh, South Australia. And we're landing somewhere just past that. Uh, let's go and jump in here and have a look. There you go. So as soon as we get over... Somebody's already there, or there is an aircraft there. So Wyren. And then we will uh, follow the river kind of down through the uh, Murray Bridge and then down to Wai Nin. Even though the Murray pretty much finishes there, uh, I wanted a, an airport to land at beyond there. So, Wai Ren. Hang on, I barely have this figured out, couldn't react fast enough. What do you mean? Did you drop out of the sky? No, no, both there. Going! This one is amazing, it is a great aircraft. Why Ren? Thanks. Okay, cool. Got it. Uh, if you're going to fly, look, the Jenny that comes with Microsoft Flight Sim flies just a little slower. Hey, two boxes in the air. Um, I am flying on high level clouds today. I decided not to fight uh, live weather because you'd normally be going 55, 60 knots flat out against the wind. My name is Nutty Slack. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. <clears throat> I do miss the tiny name tags. Uh, Might have forgot to put it in. Um, it says the program's running, but I can't, can't find it. I can't add them now anyway. Unless I restart, and I don't want to do that. Keep an eye on the uh, the internet. It seems to go up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't know if that's downloading. I think it is. Downloading data. Evil, mate! Here's some Empire credits for your servicing of the Tiger. Thank you, mate! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. Love you. Yes, there will be a thing pop up. Hopefully it captures it. A little uh, delayed. Let's see if that actually popped up on my screen. Wow, it's really delayed. Uh, delayed. But thank you a very Brett, much. Brett, here's some Empire credits for the servicing of the Tiger slightly smiling face. Underscore Brett plays LRH plane. Underscore Brett plays <laughs> LRH plane. Underscore Brett plays LRH plane. Underscore Brett plays LRH plane. Underscore Brett plays. The LHR, Long Road Home, if nobody knows what that is, um, I took a Cessna. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Yes. And smash those emotes as well. 
had to pull the trigger once. Mate, that's what it's there for. So I'm gonna put in some thanks and some hype. Emojis, I may actually change around my emojis uh, coming up, but uh, thank you very much. Um, evil mate, uh, I will actually pump that back into Christmas giveaways and stuff. Um, appreciate it. <laughs> it's funny though, because you said uh, I've, I've won giveaways on all these different channels, but not Brett Plays, and I'm like, well, I'm kind of playing on uh, doing some giveaways, and what some of the giveaways might be is like $10 um, Just Flight or uh, Steam vouchers. Um, so <laughs> you may win some of that back uh, anyway. Cool. Thank you very much. If you guys want to check out your Republic credits, how many you uh, do have, and they are um, uh, usable at this part of the outer rim, um, just type in exclamation mark credits, and it should actually say uh, how many you have. So thank you very much, Xenon, for putting in some hype as well. Nutty sack in front. Hey, there's Nutty sack. Okay, well, that kind of gives away how close the airport is, isn't it? It might even be time for me to descend. Let's have a look. Maybe not. Uh, where's my flight plane? There it is. It doesn't say how far away, does it? No. So I can't. I can't actually say I am this far away. Right. Garmin doesn't quite work that well. Or at least I haven't worked out how to do it. But yes, welcome. I might end up doing this. I might try some of these. Let's put in the top. Let's see who the top. What was it? Five, ten, ten people are. Is it exclamation mark top? Let's have a look. There we go. Top points is Dale. Dale, mate, how the heck did you get... That doesn't look right. Something has uh, gone wrong there. Dale, you've got an extra one million. No, one billion. One hundred billion. I don't know. I'm going to have to fix that because you should be 37.85. <laughs> how did you get that? Cindy's like, oh, I'm going to spend my points when it comes to Christmas. Woohoo! Big Al, mate, welcome. Um, yeah, see, that's not right, Dale, mate. I don't know how you would uh, get that many points. The system must have mucked up there. I'm going to have to fix that. Sorry. Uh, again, we've got Stu, Flying Frog, Gowan, Hostad, Digital Media, Sean Dale. Fozzy, Drew, and Lettered Rapier. There we go. Uh, I'll get 1,000 1, hours in flight sim of this flight. Oh, oh, mate, I must be getting pretty close, but not quite there. Um, if we put in exclamation mark top hours, we can see who's got the top hours. I do not know how you got... One billion points. That does not seem right. There you go. Top hours is actually Flying Frog. Then Xenon. Hostad. Hey, I'm in there. I need to remove myself from that list. It keeps getting added back on because I'm monitoring my stream here. But, um... Yeah, Dale. Dale, what, what, what happened there? Was I, was I typing something? How did you get... How many figures is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, a hundred million points. A hundred million points. How do you get a hundred million points? So 
So, I don't know, maybe I clicked on something and I was, yeah. 100 million that should be. Yeah, it's 100 million points. It's like, oh my God. Yep, yeah, two mops, mate. What are you flying? Is it a... Stock plane, or is it a... 58, like a, or a G58, or... Was it G... Was it G... 36, whatever the uh, Baron is in the sim. Come to think of it, I need to work out. Probably start descending. Alright, we'll, we'll drop a couple of thousand feet there. A hundred million points. Dale, mate, if only you could. Nobody can have a hundred million points the way it's uh, set up. I don't know how that has happened. So, <laughs> ready for the next 10 giveaways. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's how it should be. And Xenon uh, brings in number 10. Sorry, darling, mate, I fixed up that <laughs> extra 100 million. Um, I don't think I was in there typing stuff to try and fix or set up. But, uh, yeah. 100 million? Don't know. Uh... Thirty-seven ninety, I think, is it about correct? Yeah. The G fifty eight Baron. That's what I was thinking. Yes, the G fifty eight Baron. No, he's in the Carinado YMF. I've got that. Okay, maybe I need to reinstall my aircraft correctly for them to show up. Unless you've got a different livery. Um, I've started doing that. Because I just moved them all over from the old computer, I don't think they uh, they liked that. Oh my god, we're doing 85 knots oh, on descent, that's why. Take down another 10, uh, another 1,000 feet. Should get me down to about 2,000 feet. Murray River is... Uh, Murray River is actually heading up around that dark spot up there. I'm not going to follow it right up there, but we will land right next to it when we come down here. Dar works for the Empire. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? Yes. Maybe he is hiring out multiple people to watch all the same time. I, I don't know. I, yeah, nobody's actually been able to get that high in the uh, points. Um... I don't know how it works. So settings. Settings are set up that uh, you get five five uh, points per interval. Intervals are in minutes. Uh, amount of time between each pay payout. All right. Okay. So five minutes is per payout. Payouts are uh, to live users. Payouts to active users. Right, you get another five for um, currency that a viewer will earn on top of the live amount when they talk in your chat. So the more you talk, the more points you get. That's why. Maybe Dale talks like a lot. Julian looping? <laughs> Not in your life. Not on this thing. Mate. Yeah. A little a little less aerobatic. Although you, you probably could, but I, yeah, no. Mm, actually, no, not a loop. I could do a, a bit of a barrel roll. Probably the only thing you can do um, there. William, it says a good day to everybody. Hello, William Kelly, mate. Uh, on a subscription, you get 100 points. On a, becoming a member, you get 1,000 points. Uh, there's 100 points per Streamlab donation or Super Chat. So for every dollar, you're getting another 100 points. So, um, basically, uh, Evil would have got 
uh, another 2,000 points for his donation. And I'll probably be uh, doing the donation, so the giveaways with um, 50 points per ticket, math and the ticket. It seems to work well for other um, people who do the same sort of thing. And I might remove myself from there, so delete, delete. I can see you all in, uh, all coming in. Yeah, I'll get the kettle on. All right, cool. Yep. If I have five screens and watch you on five screens, do I get five times the points? No, it's one, one per login, apparently. I want to say apparently because I do that on somebody else's stream. I watch it both on the TV and on the phone. It doesn't add extra points in time. It just, uh, yeah, it just, it just does what it does. Um, so no, it's per login. By the way, morning, Julian, or evening, depending on where you are. All right, I am descending through three and a half. And I'm not sure, is that the airport directly in? No, this is on a bit of an angle. Okay. Yeah, all right, hang on. This, this goes back into our... How do we do it? No, no, that's the front seat. Okay. Well, I can't see over the window there. I see through the window. There it is. All right, so it's a slight angle. We'll, uh, we should be able to bring that in. It's pretty, pretty close. I'm doing 90 knots. Oh, yeah, I'm descending, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2,000, let's go down another, let's get down to 1,000 feet. So we are in, there you go, there's the border there, where the farmland ends on the other side of the, the fields there, that's actually Victoria, this is South Australia, we're here already. Yeah, the, I, I changed it, Xenon mate, I put it on DirectX 11 just to see if that was the issue hasn't fixed it so there's something between no it's still running just uh, hit refresh hit refresh I don't know what's going on because uh, it hasn't ended Still going. I don't know. I don't know. Where are you guys? Egress Crab, mate, we're coming into wiring. Um, yeah, I don't know why buffers. We're wiring there, Eagles Crab, mate. About to land. Might grab a cold drink out of the fridge. Back off here. We're, we're doing 90 knots on the descent. That's actually pretty good. I'm kind of running away from these guys. Well, they're actually dangerous keeping up. I'm going to pass back over the Murray. Let's get over towards the airport flight plan. Where are we? Are you on autopilot? Still? Let's have a look. I 
need to turn off. Right, wing level on. Yeah, that'll take me more towards the airport. Okay, cool. Might just hold the altitude there, 900 feet. You can go away now. No. Close it. Thank you. I don't know where that wing level is taking me. Oh, over here. Oh, no, that's danger bird. Let's have a look at this direction. There we go. Line up our uh, runway a little better. What are we? 900 feet. Yep, cool. Runway seems to be west southwest, maybe 240 ish. Yeah. See it kind of on the VFR map. I don't know if that's dirt or tarmac. Got a wheel there? Yeah, got a rear wheel. Is that uh, internet settled down? Had a little bit of a hiccup there. I don't know if it's loading in everything or what's going on. intermission here so we'll actually we'll have a couple minute break I don't remember actually coming through here but none of it would look the same from the air uh, to the ground adventure bushfire hybrid I noticed uh, buffering last night yeah last night night before my flight sim seems to buffer on the internet, but my truck sim seems to be fine. So there's something to do with, um, Phil says, mm, I have a beer. I'll probably just go with a uh, cold Pepsi. I've got one in the fridge just here. Um, I don't know, Adventure uh, Bushfires, mate. Um, there's something to do with streaming flight sim that uh, is giving the occasional buffering. I don't know whether it's to do with um, getting information from the servers, uh, whether it, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm streaming, I've got heaps of internet. Um, I'm downloading 10 megabit per second and I've got fairly stable before I check this about at least 90 megabit per second download uh, or even 80 stable like 100% I can always get 80 um, and I can even get uh, a couple of hundred could be that I'm on Wi-Fi doing a check my PC uh, is hardwired to router to see if buffering is on, on my side. No, no, there's, there's, there's Streamlabs and um, uh, Flight Sim don't seem to talk well together. Like I said, Truck Sim, no problem. Alright, I'm going to have to poke my head out the window here. Um, but something to do with flight sim. I, I don't know. So I changed to DirectX 11 today just to see if that was being on DirectX 12 beta was the issue. No, it doesn't look like it. Tarmac, yep, I see it. Eager Scrab is here as well. Very nice. I may. I'd like to change those name tags again, but um, that actually requires a restart. I don't think we'll bother. We can handle name tags that everybody else has for a while. We have a 
do it cross cross uh, airport there by the looks of it. Alright. Keeping my head poked out here. Love the interior of the like inside landing is much easier. Oh, oh, there was a stutter there. I bounced. Okay, we're down. Can I have the tail on the ground, please? Yeah, I thought you might try and take off. I just want the tail on the ground. There we go. All right. Yeah, YouTube is seeming to be a bit behind today, isn't it? It's still got me coming in. That is, that's actually more than 30 seconds now. Uh, you thought it was the Microsoft servers rather than Google? Um, oh man, is it pouring rain outside? Hang on a second. See that on my computer is running hot. It's pouring rain. I might just shut my uh, door. I'm definitely not going down to the house. All right, um, you can hear that squeaking behind me. That's my roller door. I can see you landing, but the stream is is a minute or two behind. Shouldn't be a minute or two behind, but yeah, it does look like that. When we have our intermission, I might just do a quick re be right back and uh, see if I can fix things uh, somewhat more. Back on here, nobody's on the airport. Yeah, we've dropped a bunch of frames which are probably kicking the internet back and forth. So, I thought it was a Microsoft servers rather than Google. Microsoft servers are not. Um, letting us play together on West USA today for some reason I don't know it didn't didn't show up this morning so we jumped on to East but I started off fine no no problems I thought oh yes yeah, DirectX 11 you know that's the reason but um, there is also an Nvidia driver update sitting in my download which I've been ignoring. Morning, Bubba, mate. How you going? Well, this is fairly quiet here. There we go. There we got our engine. So we're at Y Ren. Uh, I will take a moment to see if I can speed up the internet. Um, Usually it's about 20 seconds behind. I just put it on normal latency, but uh, today it's not doing too well. So what I might do is I might actually just put myself here. Oh! Alright, got shocks. We got shocks. Okay, cool. Just going to let that sit there for a moment. Uh, lovely day here in Melbourne this morning. Yeah, it just started pouring rain here. I don't think that's going to affect my internet overly much, to be honest. Um, doesn't usually. But what I'll do is I will take a uh, B ride back. See, my plane's still taxiing. I don't know if I actually skipped there, but to be honest, it's not that far behind. I thought it was further. All right, we'll put it on B ride back. We'll see how long that takes. And I'm just going to probably stop the stream for a moment and restart it. All you get it though is buffering. Let's 
going to give this a try. So you should get some buffering for a moment. Uh, it just keeps going off live here. Rain affects 5G, but uh, you're not on that right. No, no, I don't have access to 5G outside of town. Um, so, no, that's not the thing. I'm not going to go and make a cup of coffee. Where did the... Uh, Is it, is that on, mate? Did you get the um, a bot straight away, or were they just held for review? Ah, no, they didn't actually come out because I went offline, and then the bots tried spamming, but it was already offline. Okay, um. It seems to be working. I changed to the new code and I made the settings change. And there's my first issue. No, it's not. It hasn't fixed it. Wow. Hmm. I actually seem to be receiving data. Uh, I think it was when you guys went past just then. Um, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's see how it goes. Should only be about 15 seconds behind now. You will take. I think I'll stick my head out to the left side here. Five G, five G! Look what it's done to me. <laughs> now I'm a Starlink. Starlink, but it's not Starlink's not the problem because I can stream truck sim, American truck sim or Euro truck sim, and have zero. Uh, what's happening is it's dropping frames, which means you get stuttering when it, when it drops a few frames, you get stuttering. I can go three hours no drop frames on truck sim, but when I come onto flight sim, there is something that is causing it to drop frames every few minutes. Sometimes you get stuttering, sometimes you don't. Uh, yes, I'm streaming stuff. Um, maybe I need to tone down my graphics. That, that could actually be an issue. And it will be, well, it's exactly why I chose DirectX 11 today. I may just change a few extra uh, bits and pieces. You know what? I'm actually going to go for it. Alright, a little bit of rudder correction there. Right, tail is up 40 knots, 50 knots, 55, 60, and climb. There we go. Beautiful. Love this. All right, I just jumped in the stream flying now. Oh yay, I've got, I've got standard name tags. Love it. Okay, I must admit I haven't had an error since loading back in, so. Maybe it's fixed it? I... Did you know what's going to happen? As soon as I say maybe it's fixed it... Um... Just wearing me spag pondola. Yeah, there we go. Just had a tiny little pickup. You know what? It's actually not too bad. Maybe I just need to do those ones. Alright, let's get this thing climbing. Where's the Murray River? And why am I heading out this way? Oh yeah, so the Murray goes south oop, oop. wow don't put your mouse over the VFR map so the Murray goes south a lot and then comes straight back up so we'll get back up to 5,000 here oh even I've got uh, poison in the sim all right max trim mixture
see if we can do this a little bit auto pilotish. Pilot Alright, I'll put that on and then take it up to all right, let's just stick it to five, thanks. Five with a uh, vertical speed climb of seven hundred. There you go. Uh, whoops, hang on, heading hold. What's our heading hold meant to be? Two six two too far. I might just bring it back to 260 because I am all over the shop with this uh, flying here. There we go. All right, everybody else is probably like, where the heck is Brett going? Just as well, the stream's only a few seconds behind. Hopefully. Right, look at the skies full of people. Icarus, mate, I think he must have jumped out for a smoke and we've gone, oh, Brett's up in the air already. Now we're getting back on. Which direction are you heading? <laughs> My plane's all over the place. Oh wait, what's our speed? 57 knots, 58 knots. That's climb speed. All right, can you um? The heading hold on, yeah we do. Alright, that was good. Alright, stop stop going back and forth. Do you know what? I don't actually think 700 probably is a little too steep. Yeah, we've got down to 55 knots. And if we get rid of this, our climb should be at 58 knots. So that's probably about where we want to be. The stall is 40 knots. So 500 feet per uh, minute climb is a good climb on a flat out. All right, cool. We're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. I haven't got the camera on, have I? Eh, leave it off for now. reach over to my bar for you and grab a, a drink. Actually, why there? I probably should have gone to the bathroom. Oh well, where's our next stop? Waikiri. That's 31 nautical miles. I think we'll use Waikiri as a waypoint. And Swan Reach Airport, I think Y Mam. Y Mam, we will actually probably land that. Alright, I'll bring that back to hang on. 2100. Yeah, there we go. Although on the climb, oh we're no, on the climb I'll keep it. Have you ever gone out to see the Aurora uh, there in Tassie? Yes, I go out the front yard. See a guy streaming it from uh, there, it looks amazing. Ooh, I haven't seen that. Have you flown the L39, Fly Me Away says? I have. Um, I've got all of them, the L39s. So the uh, full Reno pack. I love how I'm looking up the camera and I've already turned it off. I have the full Reno pack um, L39s and they're actually pretty cool. Like they're really well done. They're a little more limited though when it comes to uh, flying outside of Reno. Um, although that being said, we flew uh, jet fighters and stuff uh, on a stream or two and there were some people in the L39 and they had no problem keeping up. Um, and it is a bit of fun, especially when you're down low and just throwing it around. Unlike this, total opposite of this. This is just slow and easy cruise. Takes forever to get to 5,000 feet. 
once we're there, it's just nice and slow. Use a relief tube or a bottle. <laughs> Well, look, it's on autopilot. I've got the camera off. I'm thinking I might just be able to get away and, and do a uh, uh, a walk to the, the bathroom and back. Um, I'm doing a cross-country flight in the L39 right now. It's a fun plane. Which country are you crossing? Australia? Oh, busy boy just raced forward. Once I get up to uh, altitude, I will stop climbing so fast and we'll basically we'll cruise at a bit slower speed but I'm just making my way through 4,000 uh, 250 where's that Murray River it's over there and that comes back up north here and we're going to cross over it again yeah, I, I couldn't be bothered going all the way down there. USA, all right. Well, it's about the same uh, same distance. I might make a run to the bathroom actually, because I want to start drinking my drink. Uh, flying from Utah all the way to Florida. Somebody was writing comments on my, um, ooh, was it Vision Jet? Uh, John, I think. I can't remember John's last name. But John wrote that he was flying, um, was it, uh, I think it was Nada to Reno in the 337. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's not a bad flight. We might end up doing something like that. So... I will jump back over to the USA and do some flights as well. We may do some general GA stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to be taking the Vision Jet for a fly around Taiwan. And we've got a few other people ahead of us. 787. I'd say we might have picked up Adelaide Airport. Probably getting close enough for it to show up Adelaide. Okay, now I can drop this back to what's that, 195. Alright, we should be able to sit at about just over 70 knots. Hey, Kenzo's here. G'day, Ken, mate. Bed says, uh, do you like the new DCAV8B2? Yes. Uh, I haven't done a stream on it yet, but I have done a review, a flight review. And it took me a while. I, I, I did my homework on it. I read the manual. I, you know, I tried to configure as much as I could to get it working. And um, I kind of liked it. It was pretty good. Now, I'm at 5,000 feet. I've slowed down to 70 knots. I might drop that just a fraction more. We'll sit just below 70 knots. We're right on. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and then I will do a quick uh, bathroom break. What kind of planes do you usually fly? Do you fly the fighters like the F-16 or the F-15? I've got them all. Uh, the only ones I don't have, though, is the Starfighter um, F-104, and I don't have the Payware um, MiG-15 or the Payware uh, Vampire, but I do have the Freeware ones. But I do have the F-14, 15, 16, uh, 22, 35, um, MiG-29, SU-57, MiG-21. Uh, actually, I'm into all of them. Um, I think we flew the MiG-29 on a stream. Um, I've flown the F-14 around Africa as well. Not all the way around, but part of. Yeah, Kenzo, I'm just joining High Aviators. G'day, mate. I'm going to be right back.
I think it's actually safe that my guy's hanging on to the uh, flight stick quite well there. I'll be right back. Live weather, very bumpy and poor visibility. Yeah, I've, I've changed to high level clouds today. Um, Ken, mate, I didn't want to uh, fight uh, basically headwinds the whole way because the direction we're heading is into um, headwinds. Are we still hovering around the 70 knots? Yep. So the Murray River in South Australia, just as windy. Do you enjoy the F-15? Yeah, look, it's when it first came out, it was incredibly underpowered. Um, it couldn't get to the Mark 2.5 that I know that it could do. Um, but they have updated it multiple times. Actually, I updated it just uh, yesterday. There was another update. Been thinking about getting it. I currently mainly fly the F-16. Very nice. Love it. And I tested how fast I could uh, fly from North Florida to, to Washington, D.C. It took only 40 minutes. Yes. F-15, you should be able to go a lot faster. Um, should. Uh, also, what's your opinion on the new helicopters? We flew Chicago run in the 107, and it's pretty cool. Uh, we landed on some buildings and stuff. It's a bit of fun. The little G2 um, one that they actually included was uh, also very cool and a lot easier to um, throw around. Um, I don't mind helicopters. I, I, I kind of enjoy them. That has got to be Adelaide Airport with people there. Sure. B787 uh, at 36 feet. Got to be in it, Adelaide. Fly me away if you actually tried the helicopters. What do you think? What happened there? That's not the button I wanted. Let's try that again. There we go. And looking out the back. So if you're flying with me and you want the same weather, I am on live time, but I am on uh, high level clouds. It's not too dissimilar, I think, to how I thought, well, at least when I took off, the weather looked, but it doesn't have the, uh, the bumpy winds and stuff. Enjoy the one, the uh, 407 uh, 
that they added and took a second to get used to it but it's uh, growing on me yeah look it's a lot heavier um, helicopter so when you jump out of say the G2 that you can pretty much like fling around um, with the rotor uh, turn on that is actually incredible okay someone's coming to try and chop my tail off <laughs> that's pretty close it actually looks really awesome flying nice and close like that oh somebody's in the H145 big owl mate welcome uh, try flying this river at 200 feet now that's a challenge we did that on the first stream and it was actually really enjoyable the problem with doing this though at 200 feet Ken is it would take me like 10 streams to get the whole distance because it really is just incredibly windy but like, the distance would be so much more also I wish I put those tiny name tags back on but I took I took all of my well there you go was a dive. Yeah, you got a scrap, mate. Um, looks pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, I took all of my mods and added aircraft and stuff off a hard drive. Actually, not even a hard drive, but an SSD M.2, and I um, unpartitioned it because it had multiple partitions, including another operating system partition. So that when I would restart my computer. My computer would go, you've got two boot sector um, on both drives. I'm going to cancel your two terabyte one and, and I'm going to disable it. And I'm going to load in on the one terabyte that has no operating system but does have a boot. And then my system would hang and go, you need to repair. It's like, you idiot. So I ended up having to unpartition two recovery spots and a reserved boot sector and then I just redid the whole disk into one partition put all my mods back in but forgot to put the name tags back on uh, which kind of sucks which is why I've got sky full of uh, standard name tags rather than my thin line ones that I often have uh, is Ken down at 200 feet flying the uh, river he is too 180 something actually. Oh, he's going for it. Uh, I'm more of a fixed wing kind of person, but uh, ever since they added the helicopters, I'm starting to like them more and more. Yeah. It says, how do you play without uh, airport landmarks? Because I struggle to see them. Ah. Right. I'll, I'll give you some hints. This plane has a Garmin. Garmin, uh, I know that the airport's there, and um, I can see where this is, uh, but also, I have, on a second screen, this is going to pause for a second, I have this. So I actually have my VFR map off on the um, right-hand monitor, so I actually have three monitors. Uh, I don't have a camera on, do I? I have three monitors, so if I'm going to point, so... I'm looking at one in front of me. Um, chat and stream is on the left monitor and on the third monitor, uh, or technically they're actually 50 inch TVs. On the third, um, I have the VFR map, which allows me to see where I'm at uh, at any time. I can put an ISO line on, but we're all flat. So what I do is I just move that straight off the screen there so that I can see that my airport is coming up or I can look in here and go, oh yeah, GPS. So it is a waypoint. The, the um, Murray River actually just goes up north and then down. Um, when we get down, so we'll land at Swan River. When we get closer down to Murray Bridge, we might actually get down quite low and just follow the last part, probably from Swan River. Uh, we'll do what um, Ken's doing and get down about 200 feet. So that's kind of how I can uh, keep an eye on it. Um, plus, I do like the, the screen is uh, blank. I don't have my... I used to have my um, throttle and stuff and information and... You, you don't have to do that. You, you get a better view without it. Which is pretty cool. Um, what's the cruising speed on your plane you're flying? Cruising speed is 75, I think. 
Yeah, so cruise speed 75. Says so over here. Uh, 75 must not exceed 139 knots, and I am currently doing 68, 69. We're going to top 70. We're going to top 70. There you go, 70 knots. So I actually backed it off. Uh, if anybody was flying with me, which they are, because you know they are there, they can actually just floor their um, same plane, and they'll catch up to me. 10, 15 knots um, faster than I will be going, which then brings us into better formation. So, um, yeah. You never knew that. Um, I'll tell you another secret, but I don't, I don't have an option on here. I got another two hours to my flight. This is probably one of the longest flights I've ever done, had. Yeah. Um, in the cockpit, on aircraft that have a glass screen, you can press your right alt button. Can't do it on here, but I can do it on there. See how that becomes a plus? So I press my right alt, I click it, I now have that screen. So all LCD screens, and I can move that GPS screen there, and I can also go to, say, flight plan, and see how it changes it there and I can scroll down there I can now move that off screen as well and you can do that with any of those LCD things so you just right alt so it's got to be right alt and then what I can do is I can now zoom that in and out off screen so any dial or anything on your screen, especially like the um, altitude so that you can see whether your, so your horizon level, you can actually take that and put it onto another, um, you're getting 85 knots of river, yeah, you can do that on a, on a different screen. So advantage is you can um, have a, where is it, here, it's not connected today, but I have a 10-inch touchscreen that I plan on putting into a... Um, so it's like a tablet, but it actually connects via HDMI and USB-C. And I can drag that screen you saw me uh, pull over to a second screen. I can put it onto a potentially a fourth small one that is on my cockpit. So, yeah. I've never flown a Formation uh, flight. How are they? Um, well, jets is a lot harder because you're going a lot faster. Planes, depending on who you're flying with, if you are communicating via voice, it's a lot easier. If you put the... Oh, yeah. I turned off my landing pattern. But if you want to know the proper uh, approach landing pattern, you can actually get floating gates. So there is an airport right here. We're about to actually turn. Uh, look at Egress Crab and Kenzo there playing around. So the Murray River, uh, is this our airport here? I think it is. We're going to turn and head south. But the Murray River actually winds up and around here and then heads down. Well, what we're gonna do is just head straight down. Some danger bird over there, and he's, what he's got, the red and silver one? Yeah. Tiger Moth is such a nice aircraft, really. Oh, there's somebody behind me. FS Kneeboard uh, is good uh, too, runs on IP, so you can access it from any device. Uh, keep an eye on the location in and out of VR. Ah, there you go. FS Kneeboard. I've got another one uh, I downloaded that I can put onto tablet um, via uh, your, um, your Wi-Fi or anything that's connected to your network. So that's IP, isn't it? Um, and allows me to do exactly the same as I did there, put other screens on it. So 
even though I bought this one, it is a touch screen. Uh, I'm contemplating using a tablet as well because you can't. This one requires USB C, and so far, from what I've noticed, it requires a HDMI as well, which means I've got to do a fourth HDMI out. Um, I kind of want one that goes through wireless so that I can just go press. So I could potentially just buy a 10 inch um, screen and then you just add them as extra monitors to your network and you just drag things straight over. And there's the airport. It's also a uh, Asphalt in Richmond. We're going to need to change the directions here. What are we on? 260. And we need to change to 216. Wait till we get past the airport, then we'll change to 216. Uh, I'm just now getting to Texas, halfway done with my flight going 470 knots. Should you come and fly with us? Although if you're in the middle of the flight, well, you're in the middle of the flight. So you're watching on one screen and, and flying on the other, I'm guessing. Big, big crosswind. I'm not on live. Right, 216. That might have been a little bit too soon. I'll make that 218. Okay, I may actually make it 220 until we get back to the Murray. There's our airport down there. So 220 is my new heading. Uh, by going 220 allows me to make my way over to the um, river first and then down. Although to be honest, by the time we get there, I think we're gonna be right at uh, Swan River anyway. And I will do a land at Swan River because we've skipped this one. This is the first airport I've skipped, it, isn't it? Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't checked my fuel. Oh, we're good. Oh yeah, I also kicked out my passenger and no baggage, so it's just me. But we might top up at... Uh, Swan River. That's cool with the, uh, the other Tiger Moss there. It's a shame I can't take name tags off. At the moment. Normally with my mod I just press backspace and it goes off. You can't press the map outside. Okay. 216 at 31.1 nautical miles to Swan Reach Airport. Sorry, not Swan River, Swan Reach Airport. Then we're down to Murray Bridge Airport and YNIN, which is our final destination. Yeah. 
Sun's going down for me right now, and I gotta make fuel stop in about an hour and haven't done a night landing. Ah, oh, you'll be right. Julian, mate, good morning from Germany. Julian, welcome. You did say hello before, I think. I did see you. Oh, we need a screenshot of that. Make sure I'm clicked on the screen to do it. There we go. Shove that on Discord later. Eagles Crab in the Bell 407. Okay, here we go. Can that thing keep up? Yeah. I think you can do do more than 70 knots. Cruise on that. I think you do 100 and something. 140 odd. There you go. Nutty Slack's bringing in the uh, formation there. 4,980 feet. It's probably actually sitting right on five, but uh, that's how it shows up. Did everybody else take off with enough fuel? I, I usually run out. <laughs> Can I take them off and make loopings? I don't know. You would think so. Maybe when we get towards the end, I'll give it a try. That way, if something goes wrong, it's near the end. No, I don't fly in real life. I wish. Um, I ride motorbikes. That's already enough that my wife's like okay with. But uh, no, I don't have. Uh, I don't have the uh, luxury of flying planes in real life. So simulator. Oh, there's the Chris. In front of me, down low. Okay. How many have we got? Nine of us? I think only two are not in the Tiger Moth. How cool is that? <clears throat> Diabolic Malice, there's a name for you. Look at this thing. Is this not beautiful? Who's on the other side there? Is that, that is Danger Bird. Maybe that makes 10. If you're flying the um, Tiger Moth tonight, put in a 1. If you're flying something else, put in a 2. <clears throat> if you're not watching, sorry, not, not flying, put in a three. There we go. Helicopters would be better for you, Brett, in real life. <laughs> yeah, all right. How hard it is just to get access to a plane, let alone being allowed to fly a helicopter. Holy schmoly. Gyrocopter would be nice. But, uh, yeah, no. Two, one, six, one. <laughs> what is that? All right, we've got a two, not flying. Okay, Dale's flying. One, fly away is flying. But you're not flying with me, though. A boogie woogie's watching. G'day, mate. Oh, yeah, two mops is... What are you flying, two mops? Where are you? Oh, you're in the, um... 58, weren't you? No, you were in the... No, you are in the, um... Carinado. One that doesn't show up for some reason. Gowan's just got to be different. You could land it in the garden, says Big Al. Mate. Yeah, not a gyrocopter, I wouldn't. Uh, a, a little helicopter. I'd love it like a little G2. Oh, my God. But, no, my neighbours would be pretty peed if I had one of those. <laughs> Save the heading. Oops. It is pretty brown out here. A little green near the river, obviously. 
there's the Murray. There it is there. So that's the Murray above us, uh, above my plane there. And we're going to join back up to it. So like I said, we're not following it 100%. It's just taken way too long to do the entire thing. I'd still be doing this next year. Bill's flying. Yep, absolutely a loop and no problem, says Ken. Oh, is that what you were doing? Well, we'll try it when we get closer. Um, Tiger Moth's not the one that they climbed out on the wing, is it? That's the uh, Steerman, isn't it? I do have a Steerman too. Have you looked into ultralights? Um, I haven't looked into them, no. Um, yeah, you're, oh, you're in a custom livery for the Carinado YMF. Well, that's why I don't see it. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. Standard livery probably shows up. Although, Egress Crab coming in the Bell 407, that is not showing up as a helicopter at all. That is just sad. No, so, um, fly me away, mate. The... And that is not coming up as a helicopter either. Oh, are you in the rescue version, Big Al? Because you came up the other day, no problem, in a H145. Um, but if you're in the rescue one, I don't have that. Not yet, anyway. I might have to go and pick it up, I think. Shows you in a Qantas. Wow. Yeah, okay. So we're probably heading directly towards Adelaide, aren't we? We are too. Yeah. So we're heading 100% towards YPAD at the moment. But as soon as we get to Swan Reach Air, uh, Airfield, we will head uh, pretty much more direct south. Uh, so... Yeah, so we've picked up the local people flying in and out of Adelaide uh, International Airport. At least I think it's an international. Someone might uh, let me know if that's right. I'm worse at taking off in this than I am landing. Uh, lock your rear wheel. Um, <clears throat> you can... I, I've got a, a control button um, program for that. But you can... Well, that just looks weird, you going sideways like that. You can lock your tail wheel. Uh, to prevent it from um, turning when you're taking off um, or landing until you get to a certain speed or get like lower down to a certain speed. Um, I find that actually works uh, best for tail draggers that have a, a, a wheel that can actually move. Okay, there's Virgin Australia 555. Where are they heading? From Sydney, okay. You think they're gonna land at Adelaide? That probably is about right. 32,000 feet. Oh, no, I do not think that they're gonna land at Adelaide. Where would you be going? Here, you're probably actually heading... Well, if they're meant to be heading there. No, to be honest, they might actually be heading to... Earth. The fact that they are still at 32,000 feet this close. Um, Big Al, you're in the middle one. I, I don't know why it's not showing up. Unless there's an update and I've not done it. Mm, that might be a case. Although your other one showed up the other day. You're 
reckon it's time to uh, descend to our airport. I can't really see it. Should be fairly directly ahead. Is that it there? Is that that tiny little strip? All right, let's see if we can climb up on the roof and have a look. I reckon that's it. Right there. Yeah, that'd be about right. It's on the other side of the river, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's it. All right, so that little dirt strip, we're going to actually go and do a touch and go there. We'll climb off the uh, roof of the plane. <laughs> oh, the top wing, I mean. Uh, gonna head out for a little bit and I'll probably stop by again just need to find out where I'm going to land and what to eat fly me away mate enjoy I'll catch you next time or later when you come in I'll we'll probably be here another hour we're almost actually at the location so I'm gonna actually start descending It's actually going to speed me up. Alright, we'll get down about 2,000 feet. Uh, and... Do you know what? We will do a full stop landing. Toilet break for anybody who needs one. And then we're going to follow the river so you will be uh, less of this 5,000 feet and more of the... Let's take that last bit of the Murray. Fairly low. <laughs> that doesn't look right. It's like, how do you get a citation of doing that so slow? So just on a 500 feet per uh, minute descend down to 2,000. Get away to uh, that airport in front of us. I think I can still see it. Yep, airstrip. It looks like we're gonna pretty much make our way directly in. Cool. Why, man? Is the airport not? I'm not asking a lady. I'm just saying, why, man? Wow, we're all bunched up, aren't we? Woohoo, look at that. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see on there. That about right. Now, oh, Dangerbird really took it down low quick, didn't he? That two mops are still up higher. He can afford to be. His plane uh, can dive a lot quicker, I think. Mm. We might end up having to dive a little quicker ourselves. Now, I'm kind of using autopilot to do this rather than hand. Although it is possible to just do it with hand. What we can do is actually double our descent but we do need to make sure that we do not hit 139 knots which is pretty much where that red line is 
I don't think I've ever been over a hundred, hundred and ten in a steep dive. Where's the boy? I think I just see you slewing around. Is that a slew in front of me? Or just sinking issues? Hmm. Whoa, egress crab, mate. He's down low, isn't he? Dodging trees, probably. Trees and bushes. We'll find out. See if he goes around any of these ones ahead. Kind of look like he's dragging along the uh, the ground there. Well, that does say 250 feet. Okay. And I got no no shadow for him. That's, that's just that's just weird. There you go, thanks Stream Lab Bot. Well, that's Brett Plays Bot. Consider subscribing. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, we're actually descending pretty quick. How fast are we going? I don't know. 95 knots. Coming down through. 1700. Yep, okay. It's actually not too bad. Tigris crab is so low he's not even making a shadow. Nah, he says. Nah, it wasn't me. You weren't supposed to see me. I didn't do it. It was the one-armed man. I tell you. <laughs> Alright Ken mate, we're gonna get down low from Swan Reach and follow the river. Not 100% every curve. It might uh, jump over some. Oh, it didn't like me turning my camera around, did it? Oh no, my GPU just dropped. CPU spiked and then my GPU dropped when I turned the view around. Can you settle down? There we go, finished. Whew. Whatever that was, didn't like me uh, doing the full turn. There it is, stuttering there on the stream. See if that actually fixes up in a second. Did we stop doing the uh, fast descent? Yeah. Let's bring it in. Swan reach. Let's see how this goes. Busy boy, where are you? Did you go past? Where are you? Oh, you're there. So you're actually over the river now. Okay. I'm sure it's this, this dirt stretch in front of me. It's got to be, right? It's, it's, it's in the right spot. I knew there was another plane there. It's Qantas. Qantas Flight Australia 662. I don't know where he's going to. Or from. And it's going to because it's heading away. Alright, I seem to be off the line here a bit. Poke my head out this way and keep an eye on my gauges. I reckon that'll do. Mm, I like this one better. There we go. In the pattern. We're in the pattern. 
Oh, you're going around from the other side, of course. Yes, yes. That would make sense. Oh, I'll meet you on the airport then. <laughs> nose a nose. You know what? We're still doing 80 or 75 knots. It actually looks a lot faster when you get down low, doesn't it? I mean, it's nothing like a jet fighter, but, you know. It looks so slow when you're up high. Everybody else is lining it up nicely. Good. Yeah, the bank shoreline doesn't look very good there. Watch out, blue car. There's a glitch in the matrix. It's quiet. Who put trees on the end of the runway? Hashtag tree small. Uh, more, what is it? Small tree mod. Uh, I don't think I have that installed at the moment. All my mods, all my um, tool mod ones are not installed at the moment. I think. down oh a bit of a bounce not too bad I've got my leading uh, edge flaps on to try not to nose it over all right we're down very good oh Turn around to see who else is coming in and you're already down. Nice. I do like these aircraft. They really are nice. Oh, that revved it up a bit. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do a bit of a stop here. Oh, there we go. Busy Boy's on his final. Uh, I will get off the runway. go and park next to Icarus. We'll take a few minute break here as well and do our final run down the river really low and I think Boozy Boy just parted in the trees. You right Xenon mate? You seem to have stopped <laughs> short. What's worse is you get caught on stream. Right, I need some chocks on. We need to send the uh, rescue crew out for Brizzy Boy who landed just short of the highway and, oh, he's gone. Yeah, I'd say he dropped it in a little bit too early. All right, don't know why that is not coming up as helicopters. Whoa, um, <clears throat> danger bird, is it? You're going to need a new prop. All right. Let's take a, a few minute break. I was going to say five, but it may not even. You hit a tree. Yeah. Did I miss the landing? Yes, mate. Just had. You can actually uh, go back a little bit if you need to. Thanks for the tail lock tip. Oh, good. It helped. So uh, there you go. And, and take off as well. So what you do is you unlock it until you get to your. Um, taxi and you're happy that's where you want to go and then you lock it and get going and you use the rudder to steer not the wheel because otherwise it throws you all over the place all right back in a few let's go for a quick intermission Thanks, Phil, mate. Enjoy your night. 
<clears throat> Have a good one. Try and get into the aircraft. Alright. HA420. What's the HA420? Not a Honda jet, is it? Too loud there. Change that music. All right. Remove the chocks. Check the fuel. You know what I'm like. 45. I'm happy to keep that. When I've been leaning this out, it's actually been going not too bad. Alright, who's in front of me? It's Icarus, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, let's follow Icarus's... Uh Push down, get the tail up, thank you. 
keep an eye on the speed there. 60 knots is good. Good. Okay, we're up. And I did turn the sound up. Didn't I? But you know what? It's a nice sound. Alright, keep an eye on who else is. You know what? Equus is doing a bit of a turn. I'll do that. Zeno says, damn, I never do that alone. No, no, no. When you do it by yourself, you, you never have those issues. When you're on stream is when it happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, no. Don't turn so sharp. Um, <laughs> oh, no, Zeno. Uh, I'll do another loop. Yeah, reset. There you go. You're back on the... I'll, I'll, I'll um... You got to do a bit more of a climb. Get your 60 knots, head straight, then do a bit of a turn. Make it gentle. Phil says, I think I'll watch for a bit. Uh, not flying now. All right, mate. We've probably got about 45 minutes of uh, this river, but I'll, I'll do a couple of loops here while the guys get up in the air. There you go. Busy boy, mate. He's up. He's good. Two mops has got a completely different plane. Yeah, just keep it straight for a bit. Get up your speed. Don't climb too uh, quickly. Otherwise, you end up, uh, especially if you're doing a tight turn, you'll end up uh, in a tree again. <laughs> that was good timing, though. All right, let's go down the river. Who else are we waiting for? Hang on. Kenzo shouldn't... Uh, uh, he'll be back in a moment. He was doing pretty good uh, river following. Alright, I am actually going to take this one a little more flat out. I've got 45% fuel remaining. I haven't fueled up the whole time. I did fuel up 100% right at the beginning. Well, let's go skim the, uh, the Murray now. I need to close that window, don't I? Do that without crashing. That'll be interesting. All right, let's see how that goes. Fancy having a house along here, hey? Although I imagine it would be potentially a um, flood zone. Maybe up higher on that side. Be all right. Yeah, tail uh, locking makes a big difference. Can't believe I didn't know about that. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's awesome. All right, I'm doing 90 knots. I might just uh, back that off a fraction. Otherwise, none of you are going to catch up to me. Oh, unless we, uh, you don't do the corners. So, technically, that might actually happen a fair bit. I'd say Captain... He's not flying with us. Captain SGC in the Honda Jet is probably like, why is there a whole bunch of Tiger Moths here? He's at 42,000 feet. Alright, I'm going to keep an eye on the, uh, the map down there. See how it turns. It turns almost back on itself. What we might end up doing is just skipping over somewhere. Not yet. Water views, I know! A little bit of water views for a change. Woohoo! Do we risk it? No. When I say risk it, trying to put the wheels in the... Um... Oh yeah, they've got, definitely got water views here. Imagine these houses. I mean, that's pretty cool, but... Flood zone. Oh, the land's getting all uh, weird on the side there. It's loading in.
Alright, I'm going to get a bit of a higher view here. Does the river come back on itself? Yeah, it does, over there. Alright, so what I'll do, I'm just going to do a straight line here. And this is why I'm not flying the entire Murray River. We could still be here in a few hours. I'll do a straight line and join up with it because it is straight dead ahead. But it turns around on itself. Okay, if I have that open, it's not going to work. Look pretty cool though, doesn't it? Certainly a bunch of people with their houses down there. Our little jetties. I think they do a lot of water skiing on the uh, Murray River. I'd feel safer in a house up on the hill there though when it comes to flood waters. Maybe it doesn't flood enough down there. South Australia. Oh, where's that Murray? Here it is. Alright, I'm going to hold it there. I think. Yep. Yep, good. going to see who's going actually around. Nah, everybody's following. Maybe what we need to do is actually have faster planes. Like if I had the Spitty or Hurricane or P-38 or even the P-40. Yeah, formation's pretty cool, isn't it? Why is Egress Crab now coming up as a different plane? Did you use development mode to change or have you got a different delivery? Because now I can't even see your airport. Maybe that's the servers. Very disappointing. Alright, back over it. We are. Are we climbing? No, 900 feet. Alright. No, I'll take it to a thousand. Take it to a thousand even. Oh, you loved the formation. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually enjoy it too. We find the P-51s. Uh, they are so talky. Yes. I actually like the um, P-51A. Uh, variant the most because it's the most military based one although I don't mind white voodoo or whatever it's called or just voodoo the, the white one it's actually pretty cool as well um, but it is very racy those ones are I haven't got the what is it called you know what I'm actually going to take a dive for that I haven't got the um <coughs> Who's, who's the person who does the uh, P-51? Um, Aeroplane Heaven or something? I haven't got their P-51. But I do have most of the other Warbirds. Um, including the Mitsubishi Zeros uh, pack. It has a few different things. Low Key Skillful says, I think I'll get the Tiger Moth. What do you all think? I'm not sure which aircraft to choose between the Tiger, T6 or the Griffin. Do you like fast? Griffin's good. Do you like um, slow but a very detailed aircraft where you can take all the panels off the front, you can take your prop off, you can take the cone out, you can change your spark plugs, you can redo your oil uh, and lube everything and put it all back together. 
I mean, technically I can actually, where is it? Uh, is it this button? Hang on, let's go here, there, there. I can go and jump in the front seat. There we go. Woohoo! Um, this is a good aircraft. So much detail on it. The fact that I can use my little um, gum in there as well, or hide it, not use it. I can change these. I can where, click on it and change it to modern, old, mile per hour, knots, vintage. I can make them modern. I can do the same on this one. Uh, I can actually turn, tilt that one. Whoa. Try not hit some of these cliffs while you're, while you're trying to show off the plane. I think this one's a good one. This is really worth it. The T6 though, is that the Reno Racer T6? The Texan? Um, I've got all of those. They are a lot of fun to fly as well, but I don't fly them as often because they're more set up for racing. I think I've done more mileage in a Tiger Moth than I have in the T6, and I've got all the T6s. Um, what type of aircraft floats your boat, Loki? Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. What What do you actually like? Um, are you more of a fly really fast all the time? Then this is not the one. That's, the G39 is pretty good for that, and it's good value compared with what you get. Um, but this this is this is top quality product, hundred percent. If you're into like biplanes, you won't regret this one. Flying away says the P51A actually uh, crashed at my local airport last year. Uh, it was in a Tusky Airman. All right. Say goodbye. I hope you got that link really quick because it's gone. It's gone quicker than. There we go. Pizza. That's right. We need to put that in. There's one. That's done. Pizza. 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 You got to know the way to my uh, my heart is through pizza. If you're gonna give me uh, spam and just uh, your your Rudy. Rudy websites, you've got to get me in somewhere better than that, and it's going to take pizza to do it. <laughs> Here goes, that's the way. Spam those uh, pizza icons. Yeah, yeah, uh, Xenon is actually usually quicker than I can get it, but he's flying today. So he's behind me, he's probably like, oh man, I was reaching for that. Uh, but he's usually quicker than I can actually uh, spam, uh, they stop them. And I've got a button that just goes, yep, I'm going to go confirm with an OK. To make sure I don't kick one of you guys out by accident. It actually makes sure I um, ask. There you go, thanks Gowan, mate. You've just got lots of pizza. Now Phil's going to be going, oh man, I wish I'd stayed in. It's probably really late or early in the morning for you now. What time would it be? Uh, 1... 12, 12.30? 12.35 a.m. Depending on where you are. Maybe 1.35. If you're in the UK. Kenzo's doing a shortcut. Pretty cool flying nice and low like this though. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit you there. I like how my automatic view goes straight to you. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Love that. Love it. There he is. Goes the nearest uh, person, I think. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Creeps! Those houses are flooded here <laughs> pretty much. They would be. We are down the end of the Murray River now, so we're in South Australia. I don't know how much uh, flooding they got down there though. <coughs> Not sure I'd be confident living there. No, no, that's right. That's what we were just saying about the flooding. That's what I was saying. I, I wouldn't mind one up on top of the hill like that. I really doubt that's getting flooding up high there. Welcome, Reaps. Oh, there's another one. No buts for you. There's one. That's for Scott. Pizza? 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 84% match. An 84% match with pizza? Oh, a little bit of uh, instability going over those trees. How'd everybody else go? Nobody's down that low. Everybody all of a sudden gets a challenge. Wait, what? Not down that low? I'll show you low. Gonna go play Satisfactory. See what the hype is all about. Yes, I've watched a little bit of people playing Satisfactory. It does look pretty cool. You're just gonna play it or stream it? Or you're gonna play it first before you stream it to work out what all the hype is about. down and do a shortcut. Looks like the uh, land is having trouble keeping up. There's a few planes around in there. Not just the ones I'm bringing. <laughs> I mean, there are other people. a little higher so we can uh, see what it looks like. The, the river does a huge U-bend there. And somebody's got a green field. Look at that. Fertilizing that with something. Stream a uh, first view, I think. Okay, cool. Gavin says, my house is perfect. Only about 20 foot from the river, but 25 foot above it. There you go. So if you're getting a 25 foot uh, rise in water, it's probably trouble for a lot more people than just you. All right, let's hold it at a thousand feet. There we go. Plane looks cool. This plane is absolutely awesome. Uh, I'll tell you what you can do. So uh, if we get inside and go through the views, we can actually open our doors both sides we can actually open this we've got to use the uh, luggage door I'm not going to do it in flight we can open the cowling here the uh, this this part here I can also change this from vintage air intake to something else I can go inside there I can take the top cover off the side cover the other side cover the front off I can take the cone off I can take the prop off I can redo my spark plugs and give it a service. To start it, you need to come to the front and spin the propeller. There is an auto start button. Uh, this is where you do the other side. I don't have a co-pilot. I actually got rid of them for today, or this whole flight. But you can open and close these things. Uh, I can find the click marker, there we go, door. door it is really really very well done aircraft so yeah you can do a full service on it I mean it is really well done all right I'm actually just gonna follow the river this way and I'm in Australian livery as well so this uh, this livery with a green, brown, and yellow. I mean, most of the planes were fairly much yellow. We've got some silver ones. Where, where's it? Anybody else there? So there's your yellow ones. But we got the green camo and the blue and white Australian. Yeah. 
Bear in mind that even supersonic jet aircraft spend most of their uh, flying time subsonic. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, hang on. What do we miss? Um, I like the AV-8B a lot better, uh, but it's subsonic. Yeah, I have had mine over Mark One, and I think the sound does disappear. Uh, but I think I was in a dive, um, so you can. I think I got to Mark 1.02. Um, it's probably not good for the aircraft. To be honest. Uh, do you know how to add a waypoint to your direct flight? Like for a fuel stop. I'm not sure what avionics it is, but the avionics system that is in the L39A is. Oh, I don't. The L39s. Okay, I don't know. If you have a simple Garmin type system, you might be able to do mm, flight plan. No, so you don't. What you can do though is add an, a nearest. So you can kind of like work out where your nearest is. I don't know in the L39 what you have access to um, in. Like this uh, GTN 750, on, on the other hand, uh, yeah, you can add another airport to go to. Uh, supersonic flight is heavily restricted in most areas. Absolutely. Yeah, you'd have to be way out. Reap says, have a good flight. Reap's mate, put in exclamation mark Reap's. Go check out his channel. Uh, he's doing some other different games you might be interested in. Uh, I do or have streamed uh, Valheim with him and I'll put it in um, Multiplayer had a bit of fun But go and enjoy satisfactory That's Reef channel there No, we're not quite flying the whole path here. I might actually just head straight down to where that Egress Crab is making his way to YMBD. It's Murray Bridge, isn't it? One of the L39s has a full glass cockpit. The 777. Okay, there you go. If you're in that one, you might be able to... Um, I don't know, is it a G1000 or G3000? You just add in your, your uh, flight plan. You just add waypoint. Cheers, Reeps. Hundred and five knots on the dive. Woohoo! And it wasn't even full pelt. There we go, there's full pelt. No, not enough to get to 110. Alright, well we'll bring it back. So we are almost at Murray Bridge. Alright, what I might do is fly up the middle of the river. Wow, oh, there's houses right down on the water. Maybe they're maybe those ones right there are both houses. What do you reckon? Yeah, probably not. There we go, there's someone who's pretty low. I see my shadow. Houses on the side there. See, they're a little bit more uh, wary of how close you get to the water. That would be pretty cool though, living along here. Although it looks really dry. I'm half tempted to fly back to Wollongong in the uh, Beaver after this stream. Wollongong! <clears throat> oh my god. Do you know how long that would take? From here, you mean? Hey, if you've got nothing to do for the next five or six hours. Actually, I, I don't know how long it'll take to fly from where we were, Murray Bridge to Wollongong. I guess you mean Shell Harbour. Wow. 
in a beaver. Whoa. I'm not doing that on one fuel tank. Phil says, in 1982, the Brits captured a number of Argentine air mobile air defense radars. They used them in the UK to police low flying areas and catch out pilots. Oh, you took it away. Too low and too fast. All right, I'll be able to read the rest of it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Put the rest in. I must have fixed something. Catch out pilots uh, who were flying too low and too fast. Wow, well, hey. From here, I'll go uh, for East Sail in Victoria first and then into the Gong. It's a long flight. Phil, mate, you're teasing me with all this. Are you, are you, are you editing stuff? Because you keep retracting it. I did read it, though. Did they get them uh, actually from Stanley? Like, when you say they captured them, because they didn't go on to the mainland. Um, they didn't actually go to Argentina. They only were, I would guess, Argentina brought out uh, year two. Uh, the Falklands. There's a Virgin Australia 412 to Sydney. 9,900 climbing. I'd say it's taking off from Adelaide heading to Sydney. Or coming from, I don't know. Uh, I got it. I just deleted my current flight plan and made a direct flight to an airport where I'm getting more fuel. And then I'll just make a new direct flight. And yeah, okay. Well, there, there is that. Alright, we've got a lot more places here. Okay, so I've been here. This is Murray Bridge. Um, I rode my motorcycle down the long, uh, down the ocean, uh, Great Ocean Road. Um, out to, well, basically all the way up the coast into South Australia and then went to Adelaide to visit a cousin uh, with my brother. And um, we, we actually went through Murray Bridge, although, to be honest, it really was just a small town for a fuel stop and a, and a bridge across the Murray. It's 1,200 kilometres as the crow flies. There you go. <laughs> Should have proofread. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like trying to read it and then boom, it's gone. So I looked over at my, uh, my my bot that keeps all of the comments. And I continued reading it and then you put it back and then boom, it's gone again. I'm like, okay, I can't keep up with the changes. I really like learning avionics because uh, I like each one is different and has cool, unique features. Yes. Do pros really fly only in a straight line? You know, I have no idea. Oh, danger bird! That would be your wheels in the water. Well, it was nice knowing you. Um, I'll call ahead. Oh, Icarus is doing the same. Let's see if Icarus is actually joining you. Maybe there was a wave there. Water ski is wave. Oh, he hasn't recovered yet. Maybe he stepped away. Alright, I'm going to skip that little roundy roundy bit and head down here. Uh, yes, they can mimic. Oh, can't crows speak like parrots? Yeah. What bike do you have, uh, ride, Brett? Mate, I have, uh, what do you got? I have an old Kawasaki ZX6R1998. Very nice. I had a ZZR1100 at one stage. Um, 1993 ZZR1100. 
but now I ride a Harley Davidson. So I have a Fat Boy Low 2010 um, in matte black. I do have, uh, actually if you look on um, Discord, which I don't have open, and you said you've now got, and I'll add you, if you look in the members uh, area, you'll actually see some link stuff for my motorcycle, but I also do have a video on my um, uh, YouTube of me riding it to a place called Paradise. Uh, so where are we going? 202. All right. Let's get that compass. Missed it. 201, 202. Alright, just going to get over to Murray Bridge where there's a um, airport, which is kind of inland a little bit here. Eagles Crab is probably already at it. Uh, you want to see weird looking, uh, look up pro funerals. <laughs> okay. What do they do? What do they do? I'm going to take a couple more degrees. And I'll actually run up a thousand so I can see more of this airport. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually fly over it and we'll continue down. ZZR used to have a GPX 100R. GPX was all right, bye. Sorry, GPZ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, GPZ 100R. Um, uh, nice. So I've had a, a bunch of bikes. My first ever bike was a CB100. One cylinder, 100 cc, 1972. It went. That was it. Just a, a nice little thump thump sound. Um, it was a great little bike to learn on. Then I had a GSX 250, 1980 model, no fairing, um, very clean model. Uh, traded it in on a GSX 1100. So I went from a 250. On my learners and my probationary on into straight onto a 1100 uh, so I had a GSX 1100F and that's the one with the electric front window that was tucked into the fairing that was a 1988 model I think um, F model so GSX 1100F and then I um, that actually had a four into one race pipe instead of the uh, two into two. All right, Egress Crab, mate. What we might do is we might just fly over and a few more degrees over towards the airport, and then we'll head back down the Murray uh, to our basically to the end of the Murray, which we're not too far away. Move that out of the way. All right. Watch out for the power lines here, everybody. Eagle Crab, maybe we'll come over and we'll do a, a quick landing there. What do you reckon? Just a touch and go. What's the worst thing can happen? Xenon? Mr. Flying Frog doesn't have any uh, power at the moment, so um, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I have heard birds uh, appear to have funeral for deceased. Phil says, dude, bikes. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm considering selling the Harley. I'm not getting enough riding. Although summer's here, I might, um, I might just do a couple more videos on it, shove a GoPro on it, and go out and um, take it around. 
The Balm 69 is in a TBM at 16,000 feet above us. Yeah, I don't think they're here for us. Here we go. Tiger Moss coming in. And the H145 still not showing up with that. I guess no, it's not. Pontus. All right. Oh, 90 knot. That's not a good touch and go speed. That's actually drain a lot of that speed off. But I'm not going to stop here. I'm just going to touch and go. We'll try and get it as smooth as possible. My first bike was a Honda H100 and then a GPZ 305 Z 750 Street Fighter. Nice. I rode a GPZ 250 for a little while as well, but it wasn't mine. I borrowed it. Um, really nice little bike. It's a good little commuter. There we go. We've got a bounce. That'll do. There you go, Scrab, mate. You coming? Grizzly Boy's done a touch and go as well. Equus is slowed down a lot more than I did. He realised <laughs> we're not stopping. Nice. All right, we're back at full. Wow, there's a big hanger over there. All right, back to the Murray. Where are you? To our left. Let's follow this road down. Oh, you reckon I can get under those power lines? Now we're asking for it, aren't we? Someone also asked for a loop. I wonder if we can do a loop. We we'll probably actually need to climb a little bit. There's no um, no low wires. Nope. Okay. Underneath. Yeah, no problem. Alright, what am I doing? I'm doing 80 knots. Can I do a loop this low or should I really climb first? Probably should climb. Uh, have you heard of the Harley FXRP? FXRP. Not sure about an FSRP. I don't have one of those uh, without the fairing on the front. They look pretty much good for an ex-police bike. Oh, right, ex-police bike. No, see, in Australia, they have the Honda uh, or BMW as, as police bikes. Um, and I really consider getting one because they've massive touring capabilities uh, with panniers and all sorts of stuff. My Harley, though, does have hard panniers on the back and a sissy seat, so a cushion thing for my wife to... Um, sit on or lean against and uh, I do have a front window if I want it it's not on at the moment I took it off it's got a quick release um, set up so I can just remove the front window because it it was it's a three-quarter window not a full window and it and it hits and buffers right on my um, forehead I wonder if this is Murray's bridge here it must be this is the bridge all right let's try the loop As a stall speed. Easy. Who wanted that loop before? There you go. What power line mod do you have? I have. I don't remember what it's called. Power line and solar. Um, I need to get the same one. What I'll do is I'll, I'll put it on uh, my Discord. I may even. Oh, Eagle Scrap, mate. Did you just bounce in the water? I'll, uh, I'll put it on my Discord or even send you a direct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, link, and I'll, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, it makes the sim, absolutely. The uh, boat one from the same people is what I want now after seeing Gaming Wombats one. So what it does, it puts boats... Like if there's a boat over there, if that, that there's a boat right there, that piece of white round thing there, it'll turn it into an actual boat. So basically almost all of these, oh these are actually houseboats. Oh look at that. It may end up putting actual boats there. 
so any of these spots on the water that uh, have not been uh, automatically AI drawn out um, yeah flight sim dot to that's right yeah power lines and solar farms that's what you do search for that look at all the houseboats in there there must be a gap right there and they can actually oh, is it there and they can go in there there's another bridge Icarus Don't touch the water, it'll grab you. <laughs> I know. <clears throat> well, these bridges are pretty low. Uh oh! It grabbed me. I think I hit my tail. Alright, let's rescue that. I died <clears throat> right at the end of the Murray. Uh, I think you will regret it if you sell your bike. I know, I know. I've already sold. I had a Honda Shadow uh, 1100 as well, American Classic Edition with uh, all the extra lights and CC seat and stuff and chrome and whatnot. Um, maybe get a little uh, scrambler for you when you get itchy for a ride. Um, yeah, I was actually considering getting, like if I sell my Harley, it's Harley's, I have a little bit harder to get in Australia at the moment after the pandemic. So it can probably um, fetch top dollar uh, at the moment. Oh, look at this, Igor's Crab is just teasing with the water there. Oh, maybe he's in the beaver. No. Um, with floats. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I considered getting a um, second-hand uh, ex-police bike as a backup. But again, they just sit there in my shed not getting used. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Um, we are right near the end of the Murray. We've probably only got a couple of, a uh, couple more kilometers to go. Then we'll uh, make our way over to the final airport. Anybody else touch the, the water as well? Uh, we all crash, don't we, Xenon, mate? We all crash. But never, never when we're by ourselves, though. Like, we never bother doing crashing when we're alone. It doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> Um, I don't know, look, Phil, mate, I've got, I've got five cars, well, technically I've got, I've got one sedan, and, and this is between my wife and I, one hatch, one uh, ute or utility vehicle, so Commodore ute, um, that's a V8 SS, um, and one four-wheel drive, and I've got a 1965 Morris Mini sitting in a shipping container, unregistered at the moment, but insured for a pretty penny. I was looking at 18%. We didn't have enough. We had oil. <laughs> Let's do a little magic. Woohoo! Ah, there's a reason why I sell merch that has bingo fuel on it. <laughs> I was not reading the fuel gauge properly before. When it says you have 45%, it takes into account your oil. You can't just run on oil. I should have filled up at that uh, airport that we were like touching and going at. All right. 
So let me uh, put that on auto for a second. So when it comes to fuel, 44%. I was on 45 or whatever. That's because I got five gallons of oil. I got to look at this. So this aircraft, it counts your oil. Which to be honest, you can probably actually go down a bit. There we go. Wow. Morris Mini. Nice. Yeah, I've got pictures. Uh, on Discord. Un oh, you got crab. You landed? Under, um, off topic, probably. Right at the very top of off topic, I think. And I've got pictures of my vehicles uh, in there. Um, so I've got a. 2014 My15 WRX in uh, the only colour that it should ever come in. Blue. WRC blue. Um, although, no, black does look good. My brother's got a black one earlier, mother. Um, Jack would be proud. Hey, I didn't slew. Well, actually, I did. I slew it into the air because I <laughs> hit the bridge. Probably with my tail, actually. Yeah. Because my wings went under, but I think the tail hit. Um, and I paused and put fuel in. So, yeah, I'm not too ashamed to do that. Oh, Icarus is slipping it in. Yes, let's do that. Slip it in. Slipping it in. Whoop, nope, he's going to slip it in, all right. Into the little drink. There we go. All the other way. Oh, I'm a little more trouble doing it that way. Maybe it's the torque of the engine. There we go. All right, we must be... Yeah, we are. It's a corner away from the end of the Murray River. Um, my first car was a, a Mini Club and Special. It was like a go-kart. They are. They are. Um, I've spent a pretty penny on mine too uh, it has been all done up it has an 1100 motor in it um, supposedly sport uh, I think it's just allows me to put uh, different fuel in um, I've got an SU carb on it but the SU carb is massive and I don't think it's properly tuned for it and it might be a good idea to swap it out and put in uh, something more stock uh, or, or, or twin SUs, I don't know. The twin SUs are also harder to tune um, or they go out too easy. Fights are on. I will catch you in all in the next one. Fights are on. Okay, don't know what that is, but all right. Go on, mate. See you, Gowan. There's everyone. Else. Max! Max is here. Is that Max? Wait, that's a different Max. That's a 6615. Oh, that's not uh, 2205. Different Max. You know what? I should have carried on flying. <laughs> it's up to you. It's up to you. Um, we are almost done. Oh, it's too late now. Um, but look, I know it's late for, um, I think you're in the UK from memory. It's late for people who are um, over there, so, you know. We're taking just a little longer than planned. Yep, mine had an 1100 in as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, mine is a blood red color um, with gold mini lights. Uh, and I've got black flares on it. My flares are actually plastic. I might potentially, when I start doing it up a bit again, I want to do a detailed interior. Um, I probably actually do need to do some body work on it as well because it can do with a bit of a cleanup. Um, and I've got high back uh, club and seats. They actually came with it, so somebody had already started a project and I bought it for like three grand. Uh, all their blew up that motor, got another motor, um, spent an absolute fortune on it, like way too much. 
um, getting it done up and uh, some rust taken out as well because where we lived in New South Wales it got damp and it ruined the uh, the boot floor and some of the um, footwell floor. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead out about 200 more miles left and still need to find where I'm going to descend. Uh, but nice stream, I'm definitely going to stop by next stream notification. Mate, I'm back tomorrow with uh, the Vision Jet around Taiwan. I saw some mini mods in a magazine years ago and people were putting Hayabusa engines in them. They do, they do. Um, there's, uh, is it Z cars or something? They put them in the back so they make them rear wheel drive um, and they, they throw those things around like You have uh, number one stream times. Number one stream times. What does that mean? Is it a minter? It was. It was. I shoved it in the shipping container. We came down to Tasmania and uh, my framework over the top where I had a couch on uh, broke and fell on the roof and has now um, uh, dented stuff. But it did expose some bodywork that was up there, so I've got to redo the roof. And I've got a bit of a rubbing against this side, so some of the gutters are a little bit howdy doody. I have thought about de guttering it um, and de seaming it because I've got an external seam. Um, I'm sure if you're a mini guy, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and any other mini guy would know what I'm talking about. But the 1960s minis, or well, 59 to probably early 70s, had their seams on the outside. People uh, often, I'm not sure whether they fold them over or they blend them in. All right, we are just coming around to the end of the Murray River. Over there where Kenzo is, that'll be the end of it. And then it'll open up. Michael says, I uh, would like to say thank you for an awesome stream today and nice scenery uh, today is an awesome stream michael and roy in canberra michael and roy guys thank you very much for coming and joining in phil says the only thing i don't like about the mini is this is the slightly van like steering wheel very upright uh yeah okay i yeah i took off my truck wheel you know, the massive 27 inch thing or whatever is on there and put on a uh, Momo Corsa I think is, is the steering wheel I've got um, it's pretty cool two more things that men I don't have to get up at 4 in the morning yes okay cool yeah the reason I get up and stream at 9 a.m. Uh, is because well the UK at the moment is 10 p.m. Uh, in winter, unfortunately, with their daylight saving and my daylight saving changes, uh, it becomes midnight. But um, in the US, both East Coast and West Coast, all the way through, it's, it's fairly favorable. Especially when I do it on a Sunday morning and a Monday morning, because that means it's Saturday and Sunday afternoon in the US. Uh, and there's a lot of you guys in the US who come and join or have done. There's a lot of them in the UK that are up late uh, that like to join in as well, especially on a weekend. There we go. We're actually coming up to the end of the Murray River. So actually pretty much where we are now. Let's actually take this up a little bit. Yeah, so it comes out into a, uh, oh, I'd like to say it's a, bar, a bay or a harbour or a I have to look on the map again to work out what it is. Um, it is pretty cool. So that's it. That's the Murray. We didn't actually skim it the whole time. Hey, flying frogs here. More than all, I had planned on flying, but we have no power since 10:30 p.m. last night. Running off generator at the moment. Oh, good. So your fish are looked after. 
Yeah, mini gutters. Yeah, they, they rust too easy because they capture all the water. And they're often, I think the, the mini gutters are double seamed. So there's like a couple of layers where, they, where, where it's all crimped. So it's like the external um, seams are also in the gutter. So yeah, I've got to do some, some clean up. I may paint my um, mini flares. So I basically wanted black plastic ones. I may actually paint them black rather than, I think they're just stock black plastic. But I like the look rather than the, the body color paint with a, um, uh, a chrome layer on. I didn't actually quite like that. Blimey, it's 1.15 here in the UK at the moment. I should really go to bed. Yeah, so when you get a chance on Discord, go and have a look at some of the uh, car pictures and you'll see my Mini in there. All right, it's hold heading there, 190. Should actually be heading, what, 163. Well, we'll skim down, we'll follow Ken here. Skim down the... Uh, coast of um, whatever this bay is, uh, skip across that inlet and then make our way a little more to our left uh, to the next airport. Oh look at these guys landing on the road. Nice. Oh, big hour mate. Um, did your emergency floats go off? Oh, trees. <laughs> oh no, danger bird. <laughs> Too low, mate. Too low. We lost a couple and Big Owl, I think, touched the water. And if he's in the 145, at least the luxury version, it has floats that if you touch the water, activate. You can't turn them back off though. So you, you end up stuck with them, but he might be sitting there on flows. Look at Icarus going around these trees. Oh, he's going through some of them. He must have the tree mod on, because they look too big. Uh, my, my mod's off at the moment, but uh, they look too big. Oh, yellow one into the camera. Crop circles. Two mops is following the road as well. Looks like Ken's going to go uh, follow the uh, the waterline there. I'm actually going to beeline it straight to the end there. Yes, fish are good. Yeah, okay, good. There you go. Hello, flying foxes. Uh, Michael. There you go. Gowan actually put in um, power line solar mod uh, in my general, so you can actually um, see it there. Also, uh, <clears throat> Phil, mate, what's your name on Discord? So I can add you to the member stuff. Let me know. Uh, Big Jacko has taken the um, 747 out. I was thinking about taking that for a flight instead of 787 later in the year or just before the new year or maybe even a New Year's Eve stream. I'm not sure. Uh, so off topic, I think it must be right at the top. Off topic. Oh man, we've got so much stuff in here. That's on my model pad. Maybe I need to clean that out. We'll make a part on this board for people's rides. Yeah, that might be the way to do it. Yeah, because now I can't even find where I'll put my stuff. Up 
Hang on, check. Yeah, okay. You've landed. How can you land? Wait, what? Kenzo, did you find an airport over there? Alright, I'm heading to YNIN. Well, there's so much an off topic. I guess it is off topic, isn't it? Wow, you can actually see my, uh, you can see my hobby stuff. Um, if you look back at the 5th of, uh, 18th, of the 5th, 2021. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot to have all that. There's my motorbike. 8th of the 5th. So right back up the very top of off topic, you can see some of that type of stuff. I might have to put something away there. We've got people right. There you go, there's my mini. Uh, February 2021. You can see my minis there. And my Subaru and my four wheel drive. And there's the U. Time to change directions. It was a one six two, wasn't it? One six three. All right, I'll take a one six three. Probably a little too soon there. My name on uh, Discord is Private Private Perts. Okay, I did see someone under that name drop in uh, today, yep, and what I'll do is, while we're flying this final destination, give you access to uh, members only. Okay, now you should actually see a membership club um, so there's the Jedi Club uh, behind the curtain I've got a few things there some links to my motorbikes and um, video ride to paradise which I was actually made public um, competitions which we need to still do something for Christmas there I'm sorry guys I've been a bit slow on that there is a story behind that name I kind of guessed that it wasn't gonna go there Three point three seven gallons. We can make this. Uh, there's a members chat, and then there's a members voice chat, which I often go to after streams and chat with people. Sometimes, actually, other times as well. How are we doing speed-wise? We're doing eighty-five knots. Wow, doing all right. Thank you very much for those 18 likes. You guys are awesome. From morning stream, that's pretty good. Evening stream seemed to do pretty good too. Next year, I think we're going to pop in some uh, Tuesday streams in the evening. So that'll be a late night one. So two mops is not going to get up at 4 a.m. To, to join me there. <laughs> Sorry. But I am going to do some of those late night ones um, as well. And uh, I will continue to do some afternoon driving ones as well. So we're going to just we're going to mix it up a bit. What is that maneuver? Is that meant to be a rollover? How well can we actually roll this over? Well, Big Al's actually at the final airport. No, fuel does not pick up. Okay. No, fuel does not pick up upside down. Perth is pronounced parts. Yeah, okay. I wasn't going to go there, just in case. Hey, where's my plane going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. back to 
try and get on the flight plane, okay. Feet off the ground, yeah, that'll do. Change stream to 4 a.m. for me. Uh, try my best uh, to see the normal one. You can do, uh, wait, the 4 a.m. ones or me? I got the number one time, yes, okay. In case nobody knows who he's talking about, he's talking about this guy. You press one button, the thing just goes. Oh, let's go flying, shall we? Let's go, let's go, let's go flying. Press the magic button on the magic carpet plane. <laughs> He's going to regret saying that. Hey, Oz, if you're watching, go check him out. He's flying tonight. Uh, I have no idea where he's flying or what he's flying. Tonight, isn't it? Sunday, yeah. Big out, love the H145. It's the only helicopter I have sort of got the hang of flying. The 135 is pretty good. That's their freeware version of it. Let's try something else as well. Oh, look at that. Slip it in, baby. Slip it in. <laughs> if anybody sound bites that, you're dead meat, too, by the way. Just saying. I'm dead meat. Yep. I understood that. I, I made the risk of getting it. If you want to go and chat with Mr. Flying Frog, he's already in members chat. over some of these trees. Try not to hit a tree. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> Look how close they are to each other. Probably one in front of the other like me. I might actually just go up and over. Oh, these. what? Am I not allowed to see <laughs> <laughs> Two mops. I can't believe you just said that. <gasps> Two mops. I can't believe you just said that. You won't need a stretcher up there. You need a mop. Yes, we do. Get around this tree. I, know, I hope I don't hit any of these trees. Oh, the land goes up a little bit there. All right, this this makes tiger moth flying quite enjoyable. Let's actually zoom in the map. Try not to hit anything while I'm doing it. Okay, now it doesn't look quite so smooth. All right, taller trees. Big Al says, "Oh, great." I think I have broken the 145. One engine has a fail. Oops. Maybe I should have read the manual. Well, it is always that. Hey, look, if it doesn't work, read the manual. Other than that, it's just basically press all buttons and give it a go, isn't it? Go around these trees, what do you reckon? Oh, there's a car flying there. Let's go up this street. Whoop, whoop. I'm almost hitting those. Oh, there's a van. It's a black van too. That be coming to get you. I'm doing 85 knots up a street. Oh, look, there's an airport. That slowed me down. All right, where's the runway? Is that it? It is too. 
Hello, Big Al. Oh, now we're going to float. Oh. Oh, I thought if you could stick that, that was a good landing. But uh, I almost came in a little hard, but yeah. I got my leading edge flaps on. But I can't seem to slow it down here. Alright. We're down. Listen to that angelic music just in time for landing. It's totally different to that last song I had though. Oh, I think I've missed everybody else's landing, have I? Don't know if you can hear my aircraft. Let's ramp it up. Yeah, we have a uh, smoke out of one engine. Not a good thing. No, I think I think that's it. Well. Tiger Moth. I don't think that'll be the last time I stream the Tiger Moth. I really enjoy flying these. What we will do... Hang on, how come Brizzy Boy's... Oh, he's still coming around. Oh, do we get to see him land? Look at Eagle's Crab. Just like... I'll just go faster and bounce. Bounce my way over. All right, Mr. Breezy Boy 54, time for you to line it up. Bring it in. You're on camera. Time to go to the hangar for repairs. Too many name tags, I can't even see. Uh, which were. Oh no, here he comes, yellow plane. He's down, isn't that music? Uh, can we line the moths up for a screenshot? Absolutely. Absolutely we can. Alright. What do you reckon? We're just getting behind this line here, I think. Let's get back inside. There we go. Thank you. How do I get you back away? Press that, don't I? There we go. Both of them away. Cool. All right. Uh, who's in the white one? Just a fraction too close. I think what I might do is I might turn this option. Where are we? Traffic. Proximity on done resume. There we go. Somebody's in pretty close. 13 months, two mops. Mate, another good stream in the bucket. All right, line them up if you got them. All right, we got Kenzo. Kenzo, mate, line them up. Put your, put your tiger moth on the, uh, in front of that white line is probably the better way. Who's in the other yellow one there? Is that, uh, Brizzy Boy? Okay, Xenon, mate. Yeah, bring it in next to yellow. Bring it in, bring it in here. Kenzo, mate, there's a perfect little spot here for you. We're going to get all these tiger moths all lined up and we're going to take a picture. If I go out far enough, I can actually get the names. There it is. It's finally making its noises. Lightsaber sounds. Brizzy Boy. Oh, he must be doing a circle. With everybody. Are we missing anybody? Big out. Oh no, he broke his helicopter. Slew it over and shove it at the back, although you're not really in the helicopter, are you? And two mops. I don't know why yours are not showing up, but maybe if you can take a picture. 
you, I don't know if you've got the tiger moth, but if you can take a picture and put it on our Discord, if you do. Oh, look at everybody's getting really, really close to each other. Wings touching. Oh, it's so cute. There we go. Ken's bringing it in. That's the way. Yep, mate. Almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Push a little further. Get onto that white line as much as you can in between these two. And then we're good. Oh, that actually looks... <laughs> that looks awesome. Is he stopped? He's moving. He stopped. I'm going to get one there. There we go. And I wonder if we can get one with them all lined up like that. There you go. Oh, that actually looks really good. Oh, somebody disappeared. Oh, no. Okay, missed it. Fred, mate. What's all this, in? You have keyboard lag. Okay, we actually missed one. One disappeared. Uh, there is maintenance tab in the EFB on the H145. There you go. Okay, thank you. Icarus is back. Okay, cool. I got it. Somebody's still got their engine running. A few of you do. But uh, no, it's fine. All right, I'm going to put a few of those. Now say cheese. That's it. Cheese! Cheese, please. Hey, that's really cool. I enjoyed that. I'm going to put a bunch of those on uh, Discord myself. I uh, wish my YMF showed up. Me too. Me too. Uh, unless you were to change to the default by pressing escape, going down to developer, turn it on, come back into the sim, go up to the top, go choose aircraft, choose YMF, and choose a default livery. Maybe it'll show up, but you'd have to do that pretty quick. Because I am actually going to say goodbye. Um, I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. We went... Uh, didn't follow the Murray 100% over the whole thing. We'd still be doing it. We'd be doing it for another three or four flights in this thing because it just zigzags so much. But I'd like to say thank you very much for Two Mops' 13 months membership. Evil's a $20 donation. Mate, uh, here is an Empire Credits for uh, servicing the Tiger. I'm going to have to go service it. Since I hit a bridge and what else did i do i ran out of fuel uh 20 feet above the the water <laughs> um what else did we do i think i don't think i actually crashed or did any other issues the whole flight three streams that was a lot of fun thanks everybody for coming and joining uh yes i see the maintenance now all good have a nice one everyone thanks mate says icarus see you everybody Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you. Mwah. Love you. That was a lot of fun. See everybody. And Phil, I'll get you added to my member end video after this. I'll get it uh, set up. Other than that, I'm going to go into members, voice chat, get a, uh, talk to Mr. Flying Frog, who's sitting there already. Maybe we'll do our, <clears throat> in inverted commas, five-minute chat. See everybody. Cheers.
We could brainwash the whole country. I'll be back.